address the post-harvest aspect of sustainability for strawberries. We know that temperature is the most important factor for maintaining strawberry quality after harvest. So in our, what we did was evaluate the quality of strawberries at harvest and then track their temperature during the shipping to the distribution centers for Walmart. And then what we wanted to do was to see how that temperature variability and the variability in initial quality affected the final quality of strawberries for consumers. To do that, we used RFID temperature tags to track the temperature. We used a system for evaluating strawberry quality that had been developed within our team earlier and we tracked the strawberries from the farm to the DCs. From there, we projected what their remaining shelf life would be under different conditions going to the stores and to the consumers and the consumer homes. My name is Cecilia Nunes and I'm an assistant professor in food science at the University of South Florida. Uh, my role in this project was to create uh, a visual quality chart for strawberries that was used by the students and the research uh, assistants during um, the quality evaluations in the field and at the DC. This um, uh, strawberry chart can uh, then be used by the strawberry industry in their quality control processes. Hello, this is Ricardo Medea. I am the research assistant who did the quality evaluation. Dr. Nunes trained me on how to do the quality analysis in the laboratory. Then, we took the chart to the field and the distribution center to do the quality evaluation. The strawberry quality chart we created shows pictures of strawberries along with the scriptures and a value. The value ranges from 5 to 1, where 5 is optimum quality strawberries that were freshly harvested, and 1 are strawberries that are really unacceptable, either because they show decay or they're bruised or leaked and then uh, an, uh, a value of three, which is the limit of acceptability, where the strawberries still look good and they are acceptable for sale. So below that rating, uh, they're no longer acceptable for sale, and above that rating, they're still considered excellent strawberries. I am Dr. Jean-Pierre Emon, COO at the Illuminate Group. My role in this project was to develop a shelf five prediction model for strawberry. Using experimental data of strawberry behavior at different temperature, we're able to develop a model that can predict at any moment during transportation and distribution the change in quality attribute of strawberry. Using real shipment, we're able to fine tune this model to adapt to specific variety of strawberry. This is Dr. Ishmael Wissal, and as part of the RFID lab for applied research, we worked on the wireless temperature tracking part of this project. I am the research scientist who work on RFID instrumentation, data and quality analysis. The wireless temperature loggers were instrumented in each strawberry pallet right in the field during harvest and packing. At this point, the initial quality of each pallet was also measured and recorded. Later, the pallets were transported to pre-cooling facilities and finally to the distribution centers all around the United States. The temperature data recorded by the loggers throughout the entire transportation were downloaded at each DC to a handheld RFID device for further analysis. The strawberry quality at the DC was also measured and recorded to correlate the shipping temperatures to the predicted reduction in shelf life. We found out that not only there are significant temperature differences between pallets in the same trailer, but also that these differences result in a wide range of quality variations for the consumer, which can actually be prevented with the use of smart logistics such as first expired first out instead of first in first out.